Ah, yes, my boys. The time has come. The Pokemaniac. Whitey Dan. Back at it again for another Pokemon video. Now, I've built my deck in a way that has changed everything. And I think we're ready for even more competitive play. In our last video, we got all the way up to score bunny rank. And I'm sure we'll get all the way up to Arceus within our 24 hours. But let's see what happens when I activate Zard Turbo against these opponents. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Zard Turbo. <gasps> Oops. Well, what, what do we get? No, I thought I clicked Tails. Yeah, I did click Tails by accident, dang. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but my, the click feels different between this game and Master Duel. I don't know how they really explain that. All right, so we're playing Mew now. Restart says once per turn, uh, draw until you have three cards. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Pretty dang good. Might consider running more of those now, seeing that I opened with it, and now I, you know, that's pretty good. Like, you know, we've got rare candy right here. Got rare candy, we got Pidgey, you know, we got everything. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and I get to draw? <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so pretty much, yeah, I think I got the gist of this game. I think I'm, I got it down, the basic mechanics. And the better you learn the mechanics, the better you learn how to play. A lot of people talk about Pokemon and say that like, oh, it's slower and stuff like that. But no, it's just as fast as Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I don't see why people think that these games are slow. The, you know, the difference between Pokemon, Magic, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is just the number of cards you can play on the first turn. And as I've looked through these Pokemon cards, there's a lot of cards you can play on the first turn. There's a lot of things you can do. Like, look at this guy. Like, having a complete turn. Like, utilizing his resources, building up the bench. Like, you know, he's, he's doing everything he wants to do very first turn like you see what i'm saying and then the next turn i'm sure you have to plan for some sort of recovery and all that or maybe he doesn't but these decks do have means of going hard on the first turn using every resource and then on the next turn you know going off like Yu -Gi Oh does this thing has two ice two spheres in his mouth for teeth not even icicles that's pretty busted All right. All right, my turn. Thank you. All right. So we got the retreat and we can draw for three. Okay. Well, let's do this. Let's hit this that maybe we grab this oh you know what no maybe we grab this this tool all right and then the glass the ultra ball sending one and two take oops taking that uh I think I want that. I think I want Pidgey, right? Yeah, I want Pidgey. All right, take Pidgey. All right, we're gonna put the Pidgey down. Uh, we're gonna take this energy. We're gonna give it to the Pidgey. Yeah, we're gonna give it to the Pidgey. Uh, then we're gonna retreat. 
Then we're gonna call for the family. Yeah, it's one, two. Yo, family, what's good? All right. I oh, had my turn. You know, I should have put this little thing on the Pidgey. I should have did that. Oh, well. Yeah, I should have put it on the Pidgey, but that's fine. Um, I just got to get used to using those items. The thing is, it's like I've learned that. I've learned that you can activate professor's research with only professor's research in your hand. <laughs> the card effect says discard your hand and draw seven cards. If you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, you would, that implies you'd have to have a hand. You have to at least have one card. But professor's research can be played with no cards like it's as its only card so that kind of changes how i completely play this entire deck because if i get professor's research in my hand i can play completely everything like it's crazy okay okay like, like watch this like when i go into charizard i'm going to be able to place three energy then that's going to make okay okay all right listen rare candy into charizard Charizard's effect activates. No Ash Blossom. No effect Valor. No Imperm. <laughs> so you can put two on Charizard. And then I'll put one on uh, this guy. Because he's my little reserve buddy. Yeah, he's my little reserve buddy. You know what? Yeah, he's my reserve buddy. He's going to he's gonna switch stuff around. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, retreat. We're gonna put Zard in. I'm gonna use this. Hmm. Now, what do I want to give Zard? I want to give Zard more punishment, so he's gonna keep blasting him. Uh, rare candy into another Zard, uh, possibly. Um, yeah, they will have more energy to place. Yep, place it here. And I think we're good for now. Blasting my beast. Take the burning darkness. All right. So we got a nice bit of control here. I'm pretty sure we got some decent prizes. All right. So pretty much Pidgeot and Zoroark and a lot of, and this Mew facilitates a lot of drawing and, and keeping my hand alive like you get like it's, it's funny kind of how to explain pokemon because losing the six cards off the top of the deck is extremely important because when you're talking about stuff like hyper geometric distribution rates that applies as soon as the first card is removed from the pile so you're kind of calculating to take minus six out of whatever the pile, then you're trying to draw your hand. So by setting prizes, technically Pokemon might be, or any deck or any game that uses cards off the top of the deck as a prize system might be like, you know, technically either, what I want to say, as random as possible is is random super is it's literally as random as it could be but uh that's neither here nor there those are just my little shower thoughts about the game um blast them all right ex oh See now we're see now our deck's kind of efficient, and we're just kind of gonna, you know, now we're gonna be bumping into doubles and stuff. So now I'm gonna like consider taking stuff down. Like like I was running four basic like Pidgeys or whatever to make sure that we could like not lose it to prize or you know not be like locked out. Because if you don't get a Pidgey, you can't get the Pidgey out. You know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of my fear. Same with Charmander, but. You know, unfortunately, I'm starting to get bricked up. So, what does that mean? That means, like, some of the best stuff could be in the prizes. So, you know, it's all good. All 
Yes, yeah, see, he can't do anything because his deck isn't like optimized, like or it is, or at least you know, or isn't optimized well enough. I'm sure as the ranks get higher, people will get harder to beat, you know. But until then, you know, this guy's gonna be taking all the punishment. I'm sure I've got like a Charmander in here. I'm sure I've got, um, <laughs> look at what, <laughs> that's a funny animation for this. It's like, oh no, I gotta check my life to see if I'm alive. Wee! <laughs> Collecting the prizes. But definitely, ultimately, for sure, Pokemon is a game about not giving up. Pokemon is a game about the comeback. Yu-Gi-Oh is a game about the comeback, too. But Pokemon feels a little more uh, genuine about it. So far, that's what it feels like. But we'll see. We'll see. When I, when I say genuine about it, I just basically mean that um like these games like you're not losing on turn three no matter what there's no way you can lose on turn three so far I, I i haven't seen it like for example like you know this game will this game will go on unless you surrender you know that's what i mean this guy just might just get beat up Blast him. All right. So then now take these prizes. Basically. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Hey. Yo. All right. So basically, it, this has an evolved form. Goes into this. Gets your V star power. Phantom star abilities. <laughs> yes. I'm tapped in, my boy. Tapped into the power. I'm tapped into the power of the Pokemon. My V Star power activates. Oh, he's finally doing something. And just a cool 130, you're just going to get destroyed. Because look at this. We've got uh, 160, right? No, no, we got 130. No. Yeah, 30 more damage. Yeah, but well, we got 150. Yeah, I mean, 160. Yeah, we got one hit KO on you, sir. We got one hit on that ass, sir. <laughs> I wish I had like uh, a rocky helmet. That'd be cool. Because the only thing you got to really solve for in this game is uh, one, one hit KOs. As long as you're not getting one hit KO, you're fine, you know? One hit KOs is the only thing you got to really be aware of, you know, and then you get to play your own strategy. Like people say Yu-Gi-Oh's playing solitaire, Pokemon's playing solitaire. Like literally there's zero interaction when, when, when my turn is going on, when your turn is going on, there's zero interaction. Stadium cards affect both people most of the time. Like, you know, like, look at this. <laughs> this guy's cooked. <laughs> it's absolutely cooked. Now let's hit this quick search. Oh, hey, there's a Charmander. Do a quick search. I'll take the boss's orders. All right. Let's evolve. Ooh, time for the V power. Then we put it on Amanda. And then um, blast him. I don't know uh, what he was doing over there. Should have took the swing. Yoink. Hey. They were both. I run two of these. They were both in the prizes. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like Stuff feels weird. Like You get stuff in the prizes. It's just kind of like whatever. Yeah, but this guy's getting like, you know, swept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Like Zard is hard to beat, man. Like it's basically the first turn is Charmander, the second turn is Rare Candy, and then it's 180 until until you know infinitum. On boss's orders, bring that Pokemon in. Burning darkness. See that? See this is what I'm talking about. Just like Yu-Gi-Oh, like I'm fully in control. Like when you're in control, you're in control. Like that's Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> look at that! <laughs> look, look at me! Look, look at this guy! <laughs> My avatar looks so. Uh, I don't know. He looks annoying. <laughs> he looks like I wouldn't want to deal with him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go again. We're gonna we're gonna just knock these guys out. There's nothing they can do. He said he could win with half of his deck tied behind his back. That's a nice coin. I wish I had that one. We'll probably get that as we keep playing. I saw you get coins when you win. I mean not win, rank up. Yeah, this game's pretty easy to play, though. <laughs> it's pretty easy to play. But doesn't mean that it's not hard to master. But it is easy to play. Pretty easy. And fun, though. Don't get me wrong. Especially, especially when you know what you're doing. It's really fun. Like, we'll probably be able to get the edge on this thing real quick. Mm. Mm. Yikes. Poison guy. I mean, I think got pretty strong last time. One dank energy. All right. Ooh, baby. Okay. We're going to grab Ultra Ball and we're going to grab the cape. We're going to Ultra Ball go. Send Charmeleon. Send the research. Search our deck. What are we searching our deck for? Oh, yeah. To search our deck for the mighty Pidgey, and also we know what's in there now. <laughs> and also, I know what's in there now. <laughs> you fool! I know every card within my deck. <laughs> um, should charge that? Should, should I get ready to punish you? Let me see. But yeah, put the cape on them. Put the bangles on them. Put the juice on them. And then in my turn. Yes. Alright. Here we go. Next turn I'm just gonna hit that research, my boy. And then we're gonna take it to the next level. Cause cause one of two things can happen. We can draw into rare candy. We can draw into the support card that helps us get rare candy. Or we can draw into um, <laughs> something like that, like this. The basic Pokemon equip gets 50. Well, we can't hit it on nobody right now, so just send away. Draw seven. And then uh, we did not get exactly what we wanted here, but we're close. Because there we go. There's our rare candy. Um, do we have a retreat cost on this? It's one retreat on that. Uh, let's see. I think I want to. Oh, yeah. I think I know what I want to do. Here you go. Put this here. Put this here. And then I want to put this on. No. Put this here. 
I'm gonna retreat this. I'm gonna bring this. And then I'm gonna put this on this. And then I'm gonna hit you with this. <laughs> I didn't have to do any of that. <laughs> but basically, I needed to, uh, I wanted to see if I could use that. I wanted to see if I could, like, use that, like, right. You know what I'm saying? Last time I tried to use this, I didn't use it correctly. So I wanted to see if it actually, like, worked. But basically, the whole combo, whatever you're gonna swap out put that up there but basically the whole idea was i wanted to reorganize the field get charmander into the bench so it doesn't get killed and then not leave an ex or v pokemon to get two prizes so basically he's gonna knock this out and take a prize of course which you know is what what we what we know is gonna happen but next turn we can go in the zard and strike back and um, I think we're going to be able to knock it out in one hit, too. Because he's going to have a prize on us. And because he's going to have a prize on us, we'll be able to go in. Oh, this, this, this ability is crazy. During the turn, you may search your deck for up to two cards and put them in your hand. People talk about Yu-Gi-Oh abilities. Get that shit out of here. People talk about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's ridiculous. But whatever. That's what all these Pokemon cards do. They all do stuff like that. Draw seven cards, draw th 12 cards, draw a billion cards, search your deck and add all cards. <laughs> like, this is so egregious. Add any two cards, shuffle the deck. <laughs> People be talking about Yu Gi Oh! and it just be like, search your pyro, <laughs> search your warrior. Ooh, goofy eyed duelist couldn't even knock me out. See, and, and we drew into it, and we got boss's orders. So he's trying to build this guy up, you know. Okay, let's let's see what we can do here. Rare candy. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to, uh, silly, silly me. <laughs> silly me. Activate. Let me get this rare candy. Let me take this defense band. Silly me. Doo -doo. Quick search. Zard. This is you only play one rare candy. Oh, you can play more than one rare candy per turn. <laughs> yes, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. This is Yu-Gi-Oh right here, bro. I swear, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. This is Yu-Gi-Oh right here. This is Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! Fighting for your life! Yu Gi Oh! Alright. Uh, we are going to retreat. Pay the cost to be the boss to bring forth the Zard. Uh, it's about to get ridiculous. Alright. And then we're going to put this on our boy. And then we're going to blast them. Okay, so here's the reasoning why I'm constantly adding stuff in. And putting stuff on cards because basically there's that one support card that can always put my cards back and then also after that one support card can always put my cards back there's like i want to say maybe a handful of other cards that it's a bit what wow okay i guess he, he do a one for one kind of thing um it just it just always seems to seems to me to, to be like a, a better option to have the control you know what i'm saying so pretty much oh yeah i gotta put my guy in yeah here you go mm -hmm. i'm probably if he doesn't put in this rts oh yeah i'm gonna bring it up i'm gonna bring this thing up yeah boss's orders get your dumb ass up here He's like, oh no oh yes quick search boy Let's get another Zard going. And then, um, bam. Yep, get another Zard going on your ass. Shadow Cyclone! <laughs> Fire energy to the Pidgey. Yeah.
Next turn we'll be rare candying into Zard. We'll be either rare candying into Zard or or ultra well, yeah, we'll be rare candying to Zard. Oh my god. That's cringe. He was like, I gave it 100 XP, survive. That's fine. But this thing does swing for 200. <laughs> and then after it swings and attacks for 200, it's gonna put three energy onto this guy. Oof. <laughs> that didn't feel good. That's pretty annoying. Ooh. Invalid. He didn't have enough juice. Wonderful. That's what I like to see. Invalidated. All right. Uh, quick search on your ass. Let's see. I drew into the other Zard. But you know what? I'm going to just take this. How about that? Draw until you get three. Um, we're going to put this Mew down. We're going to put down... The Pokeball? A voice switch. Oh yeah, I wanted to to look for the other one. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Ultra Ball. Million. And then thank you, Mew. Thanks, Mew. <laughs> Thanks, Mew. <laughs> That's disgusting. Thank you, Mew. <laughs> That's broken. <laughs> so broken. Thanks, Mew. <laughs> Mew, no problem. Want to get powered up? Yeah. <laughs> Mew. All right. So I think we're just going to do the the little attack and, and, and swap out and then go into the Pidgeotto so he can get the Pidgeotto hit. Uh, yeah, and not get a knockout. Yeah, and then Pidgeotto's gonna get a free energy. Don't you ever rush me again. You, they always speed the music up when they want you to hurry up. But yeah, I'm not gonna let him get a knockout on me for free. And then um, next turn we can go into Zard. And then Zara's gonna give us um, energy from our from our deck, and then we're gonna be able to knock this out. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool because pretty much, see, this is the whole thing about Pokemon. You gotta manage your knockouts. See, that's this is this see this is that's the Pokemon thing, managing knockouts. See, now I'm about to get my knockout. Because now I got quick search. Ooh, and I drew into it. It's, it's not your day, buddy. It's not your day, buddy. Hey, you got Valor for this? <laughs> Jesus. All right, here, look. One, here's two. And then uh, one for you. Yeah, because he shares. All right. And then, you know, see, I, my hand is down again, so I get to draw until I got three uh, or blast them. So let, let's just draw until I got three, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's draw until I got seven. <laughs> okay, we only got six cards left. Let's chill out with all this. Let's just finish him. You know what? No, no more searching. Just finish him. <laughs> Burning darkness. Be gone. Yes. What a wow, 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 wow. Yeah, now I got him right where I want him. He's not getting out of this. And all I need to do is knock out any one of these two Pokemon for game. So I've got it. Yeah. And it's crazy. It's crazy how good. Oh, you're annoying. It's crazy how good Mew is. This is insane. Mew is insane. That's a decent attack. <laughs> That's a decent attack. <laughs> but not with Charizard swinging on board. Not with a live Charizard on board. No, that's not that great. 
Um, so we don't need another one. Oh, we could have another one. Yeah, why not? And then you know what's funny? I could bring that up. What are we swinging for? Two seventy. Boss's orders. Die. GG. G G C. What's cool about this game is a lot of the cards come already. So you don't have to do a lot of like guesswork. Like a lot of the cards are already in your box. You just gotta know if you wanna have more than one copy. So it's actually pretty good. Let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> She's wearing comfy shorts. <laughs> She's about to be destroyed. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Looks like I didn't get to flip. I will emote at you. Hmm? <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I don't think she liked that very much. <laughs> we'll see who has true control in this duel of Pokemon. I only played one Mew, believe it or not. Somehow, I've opened with Mew uh, twice in a row some already. Mew's really good, though. And people talk about 10-minute turns in Yu-Gi-Oh! That last game was 30 minutes, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let's uh, see what we're going to do here. Ooh. All right, so I think I know what I want to do, but I think I got the strength to do it as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do the Ultra Ball. Let's send this and uh, that for now. Hmm. How many Zards we got in here? Oh, we got enough. Take Amanda. Yes. Slap down Amanda. Smack down the double colorless G. Dodo. You are finished. Life point soon to be diminished. Let's see. Let's see. We can discard. We can. Yeah. Go Ultra Ball. I will be sending these. <laughs> Let's search my deck. For the Zard. <laughs> Next turn, I'll wipe you out. Power glass. And I end my turn. Power glass gives me a energy. <laughs> Soon I'll be hacking your genome and attacking you directly. <laughs> genome hacking. Yes, we're going to be cooking next time. Next time Charizard's alive, we can retreat Mew for free. And then if he doesn't put any more bench, Charizard's going to sweep for game. What is this scam? Draw three. 
You're lucky. The Zard is coming for your life points. Oh, how dare you smack Mew, the progenitor of our Pokemon. You'll pay for your insolence. Have a piece of candy, my beast. Yeah! That candy was good as hell. <laughs> Here's a fire. Here's a fire. Here's a fire. <laughs> ah, yes. This, this would feel unfair, actually. Restart. Let me get one. Well. Hmm. Let's go ahead and super equip. And super equip. And I think that's going to be it. Retreat my beast. Come forth Charizard. And then I'll take an energy. Don't you ever rush me again. Don't rush me. They be rushing me because I be trying to like cook. You know what I'm saying? Now let me emote her real quick. Yeah. <laughs> what does this one do? Jack. That's all right. I prefer to search the basics because at least you can play the basics. That's like saying search your deck for two level eight monsters that can't do anything in Yu-Gi-Oh! And you don't have any other synergy except for if I have two monsters, I can tribute summon, which is, you know, profound knowledge. Your opponent cannot activate. Wait, your opponent activate. Wait. Your opponent's act oh active Pokemon is confused. I was confused. <laughs> Damn, I guess it's a, I guess it really does work. <laughs> Profound knowledge. Ah No. The Zard is confused. Oh no. That would be a problem if I couldn't do this. Da -da -da. Oh, <laughs> I've run out of target. Um, discard for the Kande. Come forth, my beast. And with the power of the candy, the power of the candy, camp candy. <laughs> Looks like there's only one energy to go around this time, but it's more than enough to take you out. You see, to get out of here, I'll need to pay a little retreat cost to bring back in another Zard. And by repaying the price, we'll take you out. Burning darkness. <laughs> Mind shuffle. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Let me emote her. Oh yeah. <laughs> Folding those cheeks. Desperately needs another poke. Ooh, what is this? Giat <laughs> Search your deck for two basic energy. Attach them to one Pokemon. Wait. Search your deck for up to two basic energy. And attach them to one Pokemon, then shuffle into your deck. Gita. Okay. I'm going to have to look that one up. That's pretty cool. Well, it's been fun. Burning Darkness. GG. One price. <laughs> A single strike is all it takes for me to win. <laughs> you got body <laughs> 900 damage to 90 that's crazy let's see where are we at right here 
Snevel. Okay. Let's keep going. She calculates a 99% chance of victory. You're going to be destroyed. <laughs> it's a 99% chance of victory for me. This is true. So far. This game is really fun, though, especially when you learn how to play. Yeah, yeah. I don't get to do this one often. Hopefully, we don't have to. <laughs> Not looking to start doing it often. Ooh, we're going to draw some free cards, baby. Mulligan's so broken. Um, my opponent um, didn't build their deck correctly and failed to draw the correct cards. What happens? They're being punished by, the, by their opponent being able to draw a number of cards that's insane like that's one thing i don't like about pokemon hey it's mew i'm gonna knock that the hell out i'm gonna um doctor's orders and knock that out i mean uh boss's orders same thing same orders same orders <laughs> put out a little bait <laughs> summon his buddies I mean that puffin is pretty good. I think I might I think I might trade and put the puffin in and take out um maybe one defense band or something like that. I think I might do that. Mm -mm. Go Ultra Ball. Nah, not this one. I kind of don't want to throw that out right now, but I will. I will. Oh, you know what, though? Hmm. I don't think I'm in, like, no danger of a KO. Ultra Ball. Baby Grunk. My faith rewards me. All right. I, I want to do that. Retreat my guy. Okay. That's fine. And... I think I'm set up better for the next turn with this. Okay, that's fine too. Void return. I had to reorganize. I didn't have an optimal uh, opening and I need to conserve this Charmander for next turn. If I can conserve this Charmander for next turn, get to a Zard, I'll be straight. But I think I can get to a Zard because I can use this to get to an Ultra Ball and then use the Ultra Ball to get to a Zard. I didn't use Zard to. No! Well, this is okay. Shuffle. It's fine. Yeah. Now I just got to get to a candy. <laughs> Which isn't bad at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like how Pokemon's kind of like you don't really have to worry about your opponent's stuff. Like you, like you do have to worry about it, but you don't have to worry about it until it's like you know live and active. You know, until it's at, on the board, active. Other than that, it's just kind of you know they're they're just doing things. All right, here's a candy, exactly what I needed. And then um, we're gonna get our Infernal Rain. Yes, sir. One, two, three. Infernal Rain is gonna go ahead and hit one. Gonna hit hit two, and it's gonna go ahead and hit three. Then we're gonna use the fire. Um, we're gonna use the Pidgey from our hand. Then we're gonna use yeah, the Zoro from our hand. And then we're gonna use the Energy and ability guess i'll draw guess i'll run away guess i'll kill you now <laughs> no you survived oh 220 ah uh, 210 that's not enough yeah it's funny too like all his Pokemon are like water Pokemon, but my my Pokemon are like Charizard, and he is not weak to water. He is a dark Pokemon that's weak to grass. Hilariously, search your deck for water Pokemon and an item. Reveal it and put it in the hand. Dang, she's stronger than Misty. Yoki Doki. Yes. The whole question is like, what are you gonna do with this Pokemon? Yes. <laughs> Super cold opponents. What is the as often as you like, you may attach water energy from your hand to one Pokemon. Oh, hey, yo, but <gasps> spicy. Okay. We definitely not gonna be letting him super cold combo shuffle his energies and all that stuff. Uh, not my Charizard, you mad fiend! All right, I'll take you down with this. That old <laughs> Pidgeotto. What are you doing here? I'm like coming to help you, dog. All right. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do this. Uh, I'll take a card, please. Pidgey. Void return. Return the slab or send him to the graveyard. All right, give me two prizes. Unbrick my hand. Yeah. I wanted a Mander though. A Mander would have been nicer. But it's okay. We can still help him off with this. What does this thing do? When this guy is late. Man, I just realized, like, you know. People just complain about what they complain about in their community. These cards on Pokemon are wordy too. Especially when you're not used to reading it. It's just kind of like, all right, just tell me what do you do? You go get a support? Great. All right. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, you, uh, you go get an item? Great. Oh, what do you do? You power up? Great. What do you do? Switch for free? Great. Great, 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 great. <laughs> this energy thing is ridiculous. Putting all the energies on everybody and then using this to 
move the energies around is insane. I actually like this strat. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, so basically he's just cycling three abilities. The Shiver, the Shivering Chill, the Super Cold, and the Restart. Clever. That is kind of crazy, though. Yeah. No, not my beast. It was complete and total KO. All right. Pidgeotto. It's up to you. What? Hmm. There's still one chance. Come forth, Pidgeotto. Do a quick search for your boy. A quick search. Sweet baby Jesus. All right. Get ready for the punishment. He's on its way. All right. So you got that on there. Um, we want a double... No, we want this on you. We want to retreat you. We want to bring you out. Place Pidgey. Blast him. Shadow Cyclone. And then we take our double energy and put it on the Pidgeot. Pidgeot. Oh, no. Not double Cyclone. Ah, oh, no. Wait, no. He's not going to be a KO. Because last time, if I'm not mistaken, it was 240. It was 240 he was able to do. Right? Oh, wait. All right, am I mistaken? Oh, no. He can discard up. He can he can take it up to... Oh, he can actually discard enough to knock it out. Damn. <laughs> well, that's GG. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, no, not the boss's orders. No, not the boss's orders. No. Ah, defeat. Defeat. Not defeat. <laughs> not defeat. Okay. <laughs> what an excellent battle. <laughs> All right. All right. She got into her engine a little better than I did, but definitely her engine was pretty good. I don't know what happened in the game. I guess it blew up. <laughs> so we actually found somebody who actually had a nice competitive engine. That engine was pretty good. Like, not going to lie. I, next time... I'll be aware that that's what's going on. I didn't, like, obviously, you don't know all the strategies, but that's one of those strategies that, like, yeah, I'll keep in mind because the Mew helps you. That The way that the Mew flows with the energy, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Search cycle. But the last guy I played to try to do that didn't get going because I got my engine going first. So, you know, that's the thing about the Pokemon thing and the prizes and how... um it's truly random. So, so you could have a game where you're like a god, but in the next game you could have could be absolute trash because, you know, your best cards got prized or the right cards got prized in such a way that it broke up your strategy just enough. So instead of it going off on turn four, it goes off on turn seven and you lose. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of funny like that. Yes. I'm always going to take first if I can get it. And I'm probably going to get a mulligan off of this guy. Watch. Uh, 
I'm glad we didn't open with a uh, only just a Charmander. Like that sucks too. I open it with just Charmander, just like. Oh. Come on, buddy. Hurry up. <laughs> What's he doing? <sighs> it's just so funny when people just got to do stuff like just play basics. Like, come on. It's not rocket science. Either you got a basic you can play, so you don't. And if he didn't, it would already said that he didn't. So. Goofy ass. <laughs> Goofy ass Pokemon trainers. Come on. <laughs> ah, yes. This guy looks like he's going to be a challenge. This fancy deck box. Mm. Let's go. One, two, done. Let's go. Mm. Hurry it up, man. Just put the basics on the board. <laughs> what are they doing over there, man? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's do um, equip and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and mm, power up, power up. There you go. And do do. And we give him this. And then we blast them. Yeah, yeah, we blast them. Hit them with the oh. <laughs> I forget that the first person, the first person doesn't get the first attack. The person who goes second gets the first attack and the first evolution. So, so in a way, second is kind of like going first. If second gets the first attack in evolution, hmm, maybe I'll choose to go second more often. Seeing, because, oh, what was that? The lost zone? The lost zone. Wow. Lost zone cards. What was that? <laughs> mm. We're going to get the knockout. That's pretty funny. He's... <laughs> There you go. 
Charmander. And I guess that's it. Yeah. Shadow Cyclone. Be gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like the last guy was so calibrated. This guy absolutely cooked. Yeah, I need to find out a way to knock out guys that are like one, I think it's like 160. Is what we're looking at for most base. What is this? Oh, wow. It's a pretty Charizard DX. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's gonna do with that thing. Hit for 210 exactly. Ah. ah. All right. This is annoying. Okay, here we go. So let's try this first. And then get the rare candy, and then I'm gonna go get my cape. I'm a superhero, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> and then we're going to rare candy into the Zard. Yes. Triple. One, one, and two. Uh, here's one, here's the cape, here is, uh, the retreat. I could have did that more efficiently, but I did not. Um, don't you ever rush me again, Pokemon. Like, hurry it up, please. Mm -mm. All right, blast them. Hold on. <laughs> now we got to fight. Netball. Netball for the good. Yeah. Okay. Be doof. Okay. <laughs> That's better than Mew. Damn, the water arc, the water's got really good stuff. Damn. He's running water with Charizard. Jeez. <gasps> no, not the boss's orders. That could only mean one thing. <gasps> Wait. He wants Charmander? No, you'll take the soul from a small Charmander. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're being a little silly Billy. <laughs> you're a silly Billy. <laughs> I see. You are a silly Billy. <laughs> you thought you could escape my power. <laughs> now, got Ash? Do you got Ash for this? <laughs> Ash? 
Got ash? Well. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ultra ball go. Sending this. Uh, sending this. Yes, Lord. I'm gonna go and get. Uh... Wait, no. Oh, no, not you. Oh, I guess we do gotta get that. Oh, it's in our prizes. Oh, that's where it's at. Okay. Wong, 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 wong. Guess I'll take that. And then we'll go ahead and do this. And we're gonna go ahead and do this. And we're gonna go ahead and do this. And then, um, yeah, die. <laughs> Burning darkness. Ooh, I love that. I love it when you put all those cards in the grave, especially that pretty Charizard. I'll take a copy of that if you don't mind. You even use Bidoof. What is your excuse? Yeah. Why does he have so many nice cards? Of regular cards and he's still losing. I need to get some of these nice cards. Especially that Charizard. Okay, we got boss's orders. I, I would have been very upset, but we got boss's orders. I don't like any cards that flip coins. Yeah, that's like another thing too. Like Pokemon has cards that flip coins. I know that for, I think, you know, maybe players that aren't as strong, you know? Cause if you're using the coin flip effects, you know, you're not relying on the surefire effects of many other cards you can use. If you gotta play the coin, you're playing into more chance. I just really feel like that's just never good, you know? Boss's orders, you'll be back. Dotto. On here, Dodo. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Take this, burning darkness. <laughs> Boss's orders. Take your punishment. Now it's funny he can't escape unless he's got double colorless energy. <laughs> <laughs> Emoting is an is 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 the enemy. <laughs> you and this be doof is is killing me, bro. He's vanquished. All right. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba All right, let's go. What? Come on. <laughs> One, two. Mr. Pidgeot, welcome to my class. Time for a quick search, my beast. Yes. Charmeleon. <laughs> I'm in control now. That old double Pidgey. Take this. Burning darkness.
This is basically the Ash Ketchum deck. Let's go. <laughs> no, ah, he's got money. No, not in front of rain. It's not that big a deal. Actually, you know what's funny? I could use Infernal Rain with genomic hacking. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Go for the knockout. I like this boss's orders. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, unorganized. You're relying on a coin toss. What you gonna do with it? <laughs> You're relying on a second coin toss. Yes, you failed. You only got four cards left. You got it. <laughs> Try your best. Yeah! Get ready for the burning darkness. Though. Retaliation. Burning in darkness. <laughs> and yet another Charizard comes to the field. Utilizing his effect. I have nothing. <laughs> He's like, what am I going to do? <laughs> nothing but lose. I'm not going to do it to him since he's a, a powerful opponent. You are a duelist of remarkable skill. Give me that B-doof. Oh, I'm going to beat his ass. Oh, I'm gonna beat his ass. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Let's go. A single strike is all it takes to win. <laughs> Damn. I need to get this Charizard. You don't deserve it. All right, so let's see what we got now. Let's take a look at these uh, prizes. Cause we, oh yeah, we just hit six. Okay, good. Perfect time to check prizes. Oh, and we just hit Bulbasaur. Let's go. Bulbasaur in the Pokemon League. Let's go, we keep cooking. What's this? Okay. Jasmine. Mm. Don't think I need anything like that. Okay. Ooh, triple packs. How did I open three of these in three packs?
Dang, that's kind of cool. Okay, it's pretty cool. Unlock tier six unlocked. Prizes collected. Monkey. Okay. It's a nice earthen vessel. Okay. All right. Well, let me see. How much is this? Oh, I didn't buy it again. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for today, my boys. We're going to be getting in there on the next one. Or if you're watching this in the stream, my boy, get ready for the next video. But as always, my boys, thanks so much for watching me in this journey as a Pokemon trainer. And we'll be getting in there in the next video. As always, keep on training.